Hello everyone, this is Kitamari. We are playing Mozart Requiem. I am going to start over a new game, and I'm going to explain as much as I can within a within a shorter playtime here, now that I've had an opportunity to play this game more and really get an idea of everything that it's about. So, this is going to be the introduction. I had traveled to Prague to meet Haufer, the director of the opera, and settled at last the accounts between us. I had left my dear Constanze back in Vienna. As usual in these instances, I buried myself in work and only let sleep surprise me when my body gave up. A strange and recurring dream was causing me much torment. It was about the city, the music, and the emperor. Rumors were spreading about a war expedition he was leading and they said that the fate of weapons had turned against him. His shadow was standing beside me, as if he wanted to warn me about a larger drama about to unfold. But before he could talk, light took its leave, and from the secret abyss beyond the city, a new enemy seemed to raise. Okay, so... That's the end of chapter one. Pretty short chapter, right? An enemy much Full voice wild. acting. And that figure in the shadow. What a strange dream. So I like the amount of voice acting that there is. We're going to go ahead and the pick up half of the his score. Which I'm currently working. I'll try to complete it later. I must have left the first few pages back at the theater. So we have a new item in our inventory. We're going to pick up a lot of things, actually. We're going to open this cupboard. And pick up this empty boiler. We're going to pick up this large spoon, too. So, the way this works is that we have these various items. We'll be able to use them on other objects in the background. But let me go ahead and see all the places I'm going here. There's a hook right over here. We're going to grab that as well. And I think we can grab the empty bowl. Right? Maybe we can't grab it quite yet. I'll go ahead and take this pouch. pouch for my watch. Let's check if it's stored in there. It's a valuable timepiece that was repaired recently. The errand boy who brought it back yesterday claimed it was as good as new. Still, I was too busy and could not check it then. How strange. The master clockmaker must have left a set of his keys in the pouch after fixing it. In any event, the piece works perfectly now. All right. So we have all kinds of new items. We have clockmaker's keys and a watch. An S hook, large spoon, the boiler. Let's go ahead and go to this pitcher of water. So when you double click with the mouse or when you uh, mash the A button, you have to mash it quite a few times if you have an Xbox controller, uh, then your character will run. And that is very, very helpful because if you happen to not be running much, it can be can be frustrating <laughs> to get around. All right. So when you get in these animations, you can uh, okay, so start the last game. There we go. We're right. We're still here. Uh, we're going to look over at the window. Just open the window and let me see what we're doing here. Empty boiler. So there's a boiler holder and we're going to take this S hook and put it on the boiler holder. And we're going to double click and there it is. There's a hook. We'll put empty boiler right there. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe we'll put it on there. Uh, Okay, so see, he doesn't really say anything. It would be nice if there were a few more hints if you're sort of on the, on the, if you're making some mistakes. See, we needed to, let me see, is it going to work now? Go over here and see it a little bit better now. And I think we need to fill this first. Let's go to the coffee mill. Oh, yes, we have to go to the coffee mill first. <laughs> so when I first heard that sound effect, I was thinking, is he eating the coffee grounds? Is he just munching and chopping down on them for, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know why I thought that, it was very silly. 
So where is... Oh, there's ground coffee right here. We have to tap on that one more time. It doesn't just get added to our inventory. We're gonna... So w you can drag things, but I don't think we're supposed to drag these in particular. Can put this here now. Right? Nope, not quite yet. We have to... Do... Do this? Or do this? Not quite yet. Okay. Maybe this empty bowl. Oh, I remember now. See this empty bowl right here? Let me... Let me see. You can kind of... You can see it more than likely in the footage. We're going to move this here. Drag it over. Or not. <laughs> okay. Tap. Place. See, it might seem odd, uh, but we really do have to... <laughs> Okay, let's let's try uh, let's try getting this large spoon, the pitcher of water. Large spoon with pitcher of water. Okay, empty boiler with pitcher of water. Oh, it's working. Okay, so now we have a boiler full of water. We can put it in the fireplace, right? I think Drink so. Some plain warm water. Drink some plain warm water. I better find something. Something more tasty. Okay, so we have this boiler full of water. I think we can put the ground coffee in it now. Boiler full of cold coffee, they say. Okay. We're going to put this in the empty bowl. I think. <laughs> no, we're not. We just have cold coffee then. There we go. I was out of order. Uh, I'm just doing this from, from memory. My memory is fantastic. Anyone who knows me knows that my memory is amazing. We're going to... Stick this right in there is a great idea. Large spoonful of hot coffee. We're gonna put it in the empty bowl. He's gonna drink coffee out of a bowl. Bowl full of hot coffee. Strange to think that Ottomans invented this divine beverage. I feel like our Lord Jesus about to be resurrected. Mozart, I'm glad he feels that way. Sir? Are you in? Mozart, sir, are you still asleep? Oh, God, these creative guys, they're kind of out there. All right, we have someone at the door. Let's go ahead and talk to this person. If we can fit in this little narrow slot. Oh, no, we can't. A bit of light could help, light could help avoid an accident. So it took me it took me a little bit to realize that this candle here, because I kept looking in all the wrong places, and I just didn't happen to see candle. We, we're going to grab that. We're gonna take the candle and put it in the candlestick holder. Maybe, maybe not. What is he doing? <laughs> okay, he put the candle in the candle. Please, please. Um, we're gonna stick it over here first. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, lit candle over here. Had another um, brain emergency. All right, so we have now lit this area. There's this inkwell and quill. He refuses to deal with it because he doesn't want to do anything with his life in this <laughs> unfinished score. It's going to take a while for us to address this unfinished score. So we'll have to come back here at a different time and try to remember to do that. Uh, it's pretty easy to remember to do things in this game because... Oh, well, let's, let's just a converse for, for a bit. A Mazzini guy came by and left word that you should go to the Emperor's Palace as soon as possible. All right, I'm on my way. No, not so fast, sir. I can't let you leave unless you settle your bill with us. Well, if I have to get to the castle, it must be a matter of urgency. Oh, undeniably. <laughs> So, uh, picture this. You go to the palace, and for one reason or another, you have to leave Prague in a hurry, never to be seen here again. <laughs> and I remain here with my unpaid bill. Not a pretty sight. So, you pay now, and then you may go wherever you please. Delaying the payment. Rumors in Prague. Mazzini. So, we'll, we'll, uh... We'll do this what one. What did you hear this morning? It's the talk of the town. The Imperial Army is said to have vanished near the Ottoman border. 
Maybe that's the reason why I didn't get my pension from the court. I quite enjoy that there's full All voice right, acting. Now, if you did want weird. to make it go about a bit faster, you what can you know this just sort of read saving? and then oh, yeah. click. And it's very easy to do that. I think I might make this somewhat of a shorter video, so I'm trying to move along. This poor guy, he's he's quite long-suffering because of Mozart over here. <laughs> so he is waiting. He will not move because he wants, wants his money. So, I... Oh, we have this watch. So what I had thought was maybe he would just do this, but he refuses to do that right now. I will actually show you. He he wants he's not in such a hurry. See, he um, apparently owing money <laughs> to the innkeeper is not enough of an emergency for him. So he's instead going to take a possibly priceless family artifact and just give it like here. Yeah, just take my take my family fam family heirloom, not artifact. A watch built by Epa. <laughs> well, it's a very valuable pawn, and provided that you keep it with us, we will be honored to have you stay for as long as you wish. All right, so we can now leave. We are no longer held hostage. I'm going to see if he will actually go about and finish his score. Finish later. Nope, he doesn't want to. He really doesn't want to. So I haven't figured out yet what to do with the clockmaker's keys. I uh, I did look at various items around here, but Mozart, found anything. Where do you get off? Don't you know that my people are expecting you at the opera? They've been waiting for you to join the rehearsal since daybreak. And the divertimento. I hope you finally completed it. Well, not entirely yet. And I'm expected at the castle. You're hopeless. What do you mean, expected at the castle? All you have to do is complete <laughs> the damned divertimento and come with me to the Gnostics Theatre for the rehearsal. I do like the variety in voice acting, the variety in characters, and the expressiveness and everything. So we're going to okay. select this, and I'm you going to really be a little faster morning, here. Half after I... Get an advance. Maybe I could get an advance? To get an advance, you should first advance with your work, Mozart. All right, so let's remember this guy. We're going to have to come back and talk to him several times, but for now we can exit from the hotel. We can talk to the innkeeper again. Mm, I should have listened to my brother's advice and opened up a Turkish bath. Customers pay in advance when they attend that kind of venue. Mazzini, go to the palace. Let's go to, go to the, the palace. Castle? By foot, Mozart. I do like the it's scenery. One hour walk mm. and the trail is pretty steep. The overall style. I never seem to have any exercise. I don't have time for that. Is there no... Well, there's no other way that costs nothing, my friend. <laughs> Unless, of course, you happen to know how to fly. I thought I saw a coach parked in the street by the hotel. Dubjek's wreck? I would strongly advise against it, Mozart. He's kind of rough around the edges and he always drives a hard bargain. Can you describe the He's in Italian. Firenze. Oh, didn't mention a Leopold. All right, we're going to end talking. So, from here, right? Now, with, again, with the Xbox controller, it, it was awfully difficult to navigate in this point-and-click environment because I would be running over here, running over there, and then and then this poor character would get very confused. But with a keyboard and mouse, it's, it's much easier. Much, much easier. Definitely ideal in that way. No water and no hose to bring it to the fountain. We'll have to remember this little little area here. Let's talk to the coach here. Are you available for a ride around noon? Nerozumi. Sorry, I don't speak Czech. Okay, he doesn't speak Czech. So what we do at this point, we don't know a language. It's very simple. We <laughs> we come over here and we talk to the innkeeper. I should have listened to my brother's advice and open up. Ask help for translation. The coachman uses a language I can't make out. Do I know how to speak Czech, you mean? Huh. You are talking to a patriot, Mozart. In that case, would you please help me make some kind of deal with the driver, Stan? Mm. Well, now that we have reached an agreement on the settling of your debt to me, I guess I can try to help you out. He is awfully generous, well, actually. He's, he's a, generosity will do me more harm than he's a nice character. To get to the castle... I doubt that the driver will give you credit. 
See how they're walking the right now? The fee for the ride when we get there. Before I realized how to oh, how to run, that's how I was walking. I believe that humans are good, <laughs> my friend. Nothing else. I'm listening, Mozart. What do you have to say to this poor working man? Go to the palace. To get to the castle. All right, I'll try. He's going to translate it. They're having a very private conversation. That's all you have to do to have a private conversation. And doesn't say much else. Gee. Oh, 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 that laugh. That's... Why does he laugh? What's he saying? He's asking what the Joker's name is. I think he means you, Mozart. The Joker. <laughs> Did you mention my name? I'm afraid so. These Slovaks are so full of surprises. He said he loved your operas. I'm pleased to hear that. So, is he good for the ride? No, no, by no means, no. <laughs> He's just standing the there in the middle, He's watching us, staring into our souls right. creepily. I, I, uh, I'll be back at noon. I don't know. The graphical style is is a bit dated. I need to do more research into this game, see if it's maybe a port, a little bit of an older game. But, I mean, it doesn't bother too much. It's not too bothersome. After the rehearsal, the director of the opera is going to pay. Wonderful. All I can afford to give you. But I beg you. Okay, he's going to confirm the appointment. Fantastic. There you go. You are to meet him here at no. Don't be late. Our new friend insists, because from what I gather, he's supposed to. A young lady that has very little patience. Who has very well, I could never relate to her. I. <laughs> I, I know that um, skipping through the dialogue is not something that I usually do, and it's mainly because this is. A second time around here, figuring things out. And I want to show off more of the to fetch a gameplay. That he ended up delivering to the castle. And talking. He is walking away. And then we wait. And we wait. And we wait. And then we're fine. Okay. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes he does that. It's it's actually quite funny. He will just walk in a certain direction and then stop, and uh, it's it's a little bit funny. Mm, I should have listened to my brother's advice. Turkish An bath. Open, Turkish bath. Customers pay in advance. It's a Turkish bath. That kind of venue. And talking. So there's not too much to look at. I do like the do like the environments basically. Mm. We'll see more of the different types of rooms and different buildings very shortly. Let's talk. The castle is empty. The emperor has gone to war. The castle is empty. So, I believe we. Okay, it took me a while to figure this out. I, <laughs> I have to give this the to him. Is empty. I think. Oh no, we we can't do it. Oh, because we need to. We need to go back up here. So he finally has decided that he wants to do something. And he's going right. to do it now. Let's get back to work. Fine. Okay. So I'm going to show my amazing musical abilities of clicking this and clicking this and clicking this. <laughs> um, this. Ah, there we go. See these numbers here? These numbers indicate how many chances you get to make your perfect symphony. Okay, V. Five, six, three. It's such it's exactly a like how melody. real music is made. <laughs> I'm, I'm is sure. Just perfect. Let's go on. I do like how simple, simple this process is. Of course, it could be made overly complicated, and I'm glad it's not. Watch me get a game over now, right after I said that. That's how the universe works. <laughs> Quite generous, I would say. And then you wait and wait and listen to the lovely melody. This is beautiful music, but I've heard music played better than this, actually. I have to say it might be my second favorite, because I have a first favorite. Alright, let's go ahead and go... 
and just tap everything because <laughs> we are the impatient girl that we're talking about. <laughs> Actually, what's funny is that I had some really great. Um... Oh no! Look at that. Okay, we help. Send help. Send music. Uh, someone who's good at music. Oh my gosh, we did it with one chance left. We did it with one chance left. Because we are musical geniuses. Virtuosos, even. One chance left. I'm just hiding my <laughs> pointy thing right here. That's how I do things. I try to hide the pointy thing where I can, but you know, I don't know. It's not that big of a deal. It might even stand out more when I'm over. You know, I, can I just... No, I I do like this music. It's just there, there is better that I have heard that is... Well, you might be wondering how, um, how could it be better? But... Yeah, an ending? The divertimento. Divertimento. No, the music in this in this game is great. In fact, if you are a fan, I don't know where he's going. If you were a fan of Mozart, if you're a fan of musical history, if you are going into this game specifically with that interest in mind, right? Then I think that you will be in a situation where you'll really like this. Now you may be wondering, why would I even think to play this game if I wasn't interested in such things? And I do have an answer for that, which is that I like a lot of games. I like a lot of games about a lot of things, including things that I normally would never imagine doing or imagine being all that interested in if the scenario is riveting enough. And this game may come that way. It may get better and better, and it may end up having a very exciting and interesting storyline with multiple you know arcs and threads and worthwhile meaningful characters and dialogues where you just you can't look away it happened with the council it could happen with with anything because i actually remember playing the council for, for about 30 minutes and sorry i don't speak not being too impressed but then i kept going and then i ended up completely becoming enraptured by that game and so for that reason i would say it's always worth it to give games a chance and talking though let's go back here find this character again oh uh, sorry i we have to take this and give it to him specifically Please hurry up with your travel arrangements to the castle so we can finally head up to the th Fantastic. Morning has been kind of Talk to him one more time. Here I stand now at your disposal. At long last. You almost kept me waiting. Let's head up now for the theater. Chapter 3, Morning at the Opera, 9 a.m. Everybody is waiting for you on the stage and you don't even have your baton to conduct. Go get it in the Kappelmeister's box. Also, don't forget the first half of the divertimento. Maybe you left it in the music parlor. Hurry up, we're already late. I had to run from errand to errand since I left the hotel. We were going to... I do wish he was a little bit wittier. Because I really like this movie oh, called now Amadeus. I what last very night. fun, very so funny. Alexa very sad. The first half of the All my favorite things. And... Did she away, or did she leave it in the music I don't know. Parlor? Must find out. Let's. The bust of George Frederick Handel. Get this. Ah, fugues by the divine Handel. My friend Haydn is. I do like how much effort has been put into various artistic elements. A Mozart, sir. It's always a pleasure to see you back in Prague. The different environments. Performance. Apart from the new shows of Don Giovanni, in the afternoon, the orchestra plays a concerto composed by... And ticket sales. Are they going briskly? So far, nobody seems in a hurry to buy tickets. People seem to prefer operas much better than symphonic concerts. Hmm. 
I wonder if that's true. Well, I'm sure it is. You're asking me how my wife is. The flirty little boogress in that period. For a new beau. Cozy van duty, <laughs> as the Italians say. They're all the same. We're gonna end talking. I think they could have worded it something other than end talking, but there are different places for us to go here. We could go to this door and look at this bust. The first time I heard that piece by Bach. I was attending that party given by the Baron von Sweden. I do like that the that that Mozart he has these these moments where he observes things and uh, wants to talk locked. about them. I need to find a way to get in. We'll eventually get in here for sure. Towards the music hall. So these fellows, they're very busy. They don't want to talk to me. They are busy. Now, if you do go over here, you can... Well, there's not much you can do. And this, this poor guy, he looks like he's working just as hard as the rest of them, but he doesn't have a little non-interactive thing that looks like it should be interacted with. I like the, the scale here. Sense of scale, I guess. So... I don't think that there are multiple ways out of this area. We're gonna head through here. We're gonna go back over here. And then we're gonna go up these stairs. Oh, I'm so glad running is a possibility. Let's. Vivaldi. Yes, I vaguely remember the old Venetian. Still, I thought his music was kind of too cute for its own good. Does anyone know why he thinks that it's too cute? I'm curious about what, why one would feel that way about Vivaldi. Alright, I went... <laughs> now, door to the director's salon. Door to the music parlor. Let's go to the music parlor. There's a kettle here, a score, and a pillow. We're gonna look at the pillow. I wonder who left that... There's a fan, so, wait, fan. Now he picks it up. He observes the fan, but always make sure that you double check to make sure that an item was picked up. I'm gonna pick up this score. My 41st symphony. I completed it more than a month ago. I guess we couldn't pick that up. We'll look at the kettle. Coffee back at the hotel. Those old tiny ways of Sunflowers. having coffee. Oh, feeds his parrot with. They're all over the sheet. Let's clean it up. So his version of cleaning it up is to stick them in his inventory. <laughs> bird seat. Looking forward to finding that bird, actually. So we can go ahead and sit down here. We'll play more. See, this music is beautiful. It's just that there's someone that I prefer hearing play the piano. Anyway, where is... Where... Escape? No. <laughs> there is no escape. The perch, okay, perch. The perch chains his parrot. <laughs> Seems like he has taken the ugly beast along with him. Along with him. Hmm. So, eventually... Letter slipped in a book? What? <laughs> So I have been in this game, looking everywhere, everywhere. See, that's what the round circles of my cursor mean, everywhere, for something, and it's right here. A book. Very nice <laughs> with the title, the, the book, book of, of Celestial, Celestial Harmonies. There is a letter slipped inside the cover. Let's see. Ah, I do know this writing. Seems like a note from my old buddy Haydn. I read, Dear Wolfie, Last time we met, it seemed to me that your mind, usually so fast, was a tad lacking of exercise. I'd say this is quite an original gift. I'm taking it with me so I can study it. Look of harmonics. Someone might want that. We're going to... Um... Gonna move this way. Mm. I could have sworn there was something else inside of this room, but it may not be. Let's go to the door to the director's salon. 
All right, we have a new character to spend time with a musician. Mozart, sir. I am looking forward to the rehearsal. First, I have something urgent to take care of. Did you check my new score, the Divertimento? Your Divertimento is a nice piece. I wonder where you managed to get all your ideas. It's kind of a gift from God, most certainly. Oh, yes. Your muse wouldn't happen to be a young woman instead. There are so many rumors about you, I'd say. I haven't heard anything. And I do have a spouse that expects me back in Vienna. So rumors are obviously misleading. I like the the kind of friendship between these two of, of sorts. <laughs> and their, their conversation. The pain is so harsh he can't leave his bed. He believes it is divine retribution for his gluttony. He eats constantly from dawn to dusk, except, of course, when he stops to drink. <laughs> so we're going to meet that character, the key to the most likely. Box. He key to Kappameister spots. Still, he orders me not to open to anybody. In Vienna, I too am a Kappameister. Oh, that doesn't surprise me. I myself have been offered the job in Bratislava. All right. Give me the key, then. Most certainly, Mozart. Just enjoying the small talk. The Kappelmeister is your devoted friend, and I know he doesn't keep any secret from you. I will open his box. That's nice. There you go. You get warped Open. right here. Let me give you a little piece of advice. Refrain from stealing in the Kappelmeister's pantry. The other day, he went berserk just because oh, a my. of my had gone missing. We're going to head right in there. Conductor's baton. At last, the baton I needed for my rehearsal. I'm just going to steal it, apparently. We're going to not get in here, because... I don't know. I haven't been able to figure out how to get inside there quite yet. In fact, there doesn't appear to be much in here outside of that baton. So we're going to go back towards the lobby. And towards the music hall, right there, towards the entrance hall. We're going to go to the music hall. All right, we're here. So I'm not sure if perhaps... Let's try something else. Let's try something else. Let's try well, something else. Let's try something else. <laughs> Musicians like turn. Let's try something else. Let's try something else. What about here? Oh, no luck yet. Quite yet. So we're going to go ahead and leave towards the lobby. Going to go back to the entrance hall. And talk to the concierge. A Mozart service. It's always a pleasure to see you back in pro- And talking. I'm just gonna look closely around here to see if there's anything I have missed. I might go back around this way. Hmm. So we're not gonna go back there, actually. We're gonna take these... This, uh, these stairs. Towards the entrance hall. Director Salon. Music parlor. I wonder if there's anything different here now. I feel like there could be an arrow or something, especially if you're returning to this game after a little while and you, you know, might forget that you just have to walk <laughs> to magically make new things appear. You have to walk in a certain way. And I already had my coffee. Already had that. So what is this kettle for then? I wonder. There must be a purpose for it. Let's Book of harmonics. Else. Let's try something else. Let's try something else. You can't even drag it anywhere, okay? So I might be stuck again. <laughs> I mean this is this is um not really stuck quite yet. Hmm. Let's try something else. Try something else. Do you want this? Kappelmeister has a weak health. Petition for his position. 
That's here. Locked. It's locked. And it's the clockmaker's key. It doesn't have anything to do with that. I wonder if I can show him this. The has a weak Petition for his position. You want a fan? The Kappelmeister has a weak health. <laughs> he doesn't want anything. Wonder if I can walk all the way over here? Nope. Not quite. I just don't want to make I, I I want to make sure that I don't miss anything in particular. And can see if bird seed will blend with that. It will not. <laughs> oh that rocking. Vivaldi. Yes. Yeah, we looked at that already. So, go back to the entrance hall. I feel like I might be missing some little path that I'm just not aware of. It goes somewhere. A, <laughs> a little inching a around. So, is there anything you want, sir? A Perhaps Mozart you. It's all... No. How about these keys? Okay, so one one thing I could check is Okay, we know that we'll talk to him that way. Does he want bird seed? He does not want bird seed. Try something else. Book of harmonics. Okay. Mm, towards music hall. The Meister's box. I feel like there could be something in this room that I just don't fully know what it is. And when there's a way to use an item, right? I probably should have paid a little more attention to see if there were any visual clues for that. I guess there's nothing in here quite. I do like the detail that's been put into these various rooms and into how they they all are arranged. And uh, let's see, what else do I like? <laughs> okay, all right, so I, I'm not fully enjoying this game, unfortunately. I think that I am interested in the idea of playing you know, a historical game centered around centered around uh, Amadeus Mozart. I, I think that there could be a bit more of a riveting premise, perhaps. Anything can have a riveting premise, in my opinion. Anything. Absolutely anything. Uh, it just depends on what type of story that that the creators are hoping to tell and there's nothing in particular that's that i would say is fully pointedly wrong with this game it has its own vision it's being a sort of peaceful peaceful experience that takes itself pretty seriously and uh it's just i don't know it, it kind of lacks a sort of immediate um draw yeah, that's, that's how I would put it, is that very often in games, I find that the first 20 minutes or so are, are quite critical. I feel like if you're going to have a lot of interesting facets to the plot, perhaps, they, they should have many hints that are located towards the beginning of the game as much as possible. And, you know, I feel like this, this could still be an interesting title for many people. And I like the the idea of having items that matter, that we have to combine them in certain ways, that we are perhaps recreating um, sort of ancient ancient things that have been, you know, practices that are like drink, drinking coffee from a bowl. <laughs> Drinking coffee from a bowl. I do, you know, I should try that someday. I, someday, someday. Anyway, this has been Mozart Requiem. Now, would I return to this game? Nothing is impossible, I think. Yeah, I might do a little more digging to see about the main storyline and everything that it's about. I mean, it's not impossible that there might be a part two. It could happen someday. It, it is, uh, I mean, this game is functional. I don't have major issues with the controls, especially now that I have switched to keyboard and mouse. That makes a huge difference. As I had mentioned, the controller is a, it's a bit more finicky, but you know, it doesn't really need that. This um, works quite fine with the keyboard and mouse. And uh, 
even just a mouse, period. I, I don't even use the keyboard. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, this this is that's kind of an interesting facet of this game that you could just use the mouse and uh, just look at everything, do everything, um, and can have multiple saves. That's always good. Let me quickly go to the options menu. So subtitles on. This was something that I had to turn on manually. Actually, they're not automatically on. Let me look at the different languages. Ah, very nice. Decent number of languages. And, you know, the, the visuals are a bit dated, but they have their own appeal, their own charm, their own uh, way of doing things. So I will have the link in the description. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching, and I will see you later. Bye!